The use of technology in banking in Kenya, in fact, dates back to the days of the National Bank of India. The technology in use at the time, manual weighing scales, was fairly crude and mechanical. The weighing scales were manufactured in London and shipped in already calibrated and ready for use. They came in varying sizes and used different weighing stones whose fixed weight was the equivalent of a certain amount of rupees. We started with adding machine. Then we came to posting machine that means doing, doing the, the ledgers and all, what we call the waste, you know, where you write hand the records, which used to be hand, we, came, we advanced to the machines. From machines now we graduated to more than that. That means, uh, yes, technology had a quite a big impact on us. Huge volumes of books were used for purposes of keeping accounts as well as documents that constituted powers of attorney and wills. Customers were issued with passbooks in which all their transactions with the bank were entered by clerks. Checks were mostly the preserve of companies and individual clients who were very wealthy. And in the 1950s, it took longer than a month for a check to clear. This improved to 21 days in the 1980s compared to two days at present. Beginning in the late 1960s, the main banks started investing in computerizing their operations. Barclays Bank of Kenya was the first bank to fully computerize its operations in the country. Its Barclays International Accounting System computer program was rolled out in November 1982, with its Enterprise Road Nairobi branch being the first beneficiary. Other banks would eventually follow suit and computerize operations in their branches. In 1989, Stanchart pioneered the use of debit cards and automated telemachines or ATMs. Barclays, KCB and Coop Bank followed not long thereafter. By early 2000, bank customers were able to access services from any branch of their bank, unlike before when one had to go to their branch. ATMs were enhanced to offer a variety of services besides cash withdrawal. These included cash and check deposit, issuance of mini statements, and transfer of money directly to another account within the bank. Banks also interconnected their ATM networks, thereby allowing customers to access the services on ATMs beyond those of their banks. A case in point is the PESA point network of ATMs to which the majority of banks subscribe. An even more innovative system of banking would come with the launch of the M-Pesa mobile money transfer system by Safaricom in 2007. M-Pesa has drastically transformed the way the majority of Kenyans send and receive money. Currently, most banks have adopted and integrated the M-Pesa concept in their everyday services. We are seeing the tip of the iceberg. M-Pesa may eventually revolutionize and it will. Banking will not be what we know. All these banking holes, you should not be thinking what to do with them. <laughs> because you may eventually find you can take your loan through mobile money. That is the new development. I think uh, mobile money is a major breakthrough. Yeah. But uh, I think we need to remember mobile money is just a product. Yeah. So it complements yeah. the huge range of banking services by easing uh, the issue of um, uh, money transfer. I would see that as the greatest threat maybe to money transfer systems uh, that existed previously, but complements the banks. And at the same time, gives the bank an opportunity to add money transfer as an additional product. I will say the biggest contribution of money transfer as it has been done in Kenya was to really legitimize the use of technology. The phobia <laughs> of uh, trusting <laughs> a phone, again, that has been dissipated uh, by the money transfer. And uh, the future of banking using the mobile phone as a delivery has been given a huge boost. Most banks are also offering internet banking 
where customers can transact their business on personal computers or smartphones in the comfort of their homes or offices. I can tell you that in 2002, we had only 1.9 million deposit accounts. Today, we have 17.6 million deposit accounts. Because you are able to save your money through M-Surey. If so let's say assume you are somewhere you somewhere you cannot even have a, a bank account because there is no bank near you, but you can use the mobile phone. 